Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on Francis turbine. So let us first understand what is this Francis turbine. So this is the inward radial flow reaction turbine. And when the discharge as outlet is radial, then this turbine is known as Francis turbine. So we can say that in Francis turbine, angle beta is equal to 90 degree and Whirl, velocity of whirl at outlet tip that is this VW2 is equal to 0. Now first I will read what is the given problem. A Francis turbine working under a head of 30 meter has a wheel diameter of 1.2 meter at the entrance and 0 0.6 meter at exit. The vane angle at the entrance is 90 degree and guide blade angle is 15 degree. The water at the exit leaves the vanes without any tangential velocity and the velocity of flow in the runner is constant. Neglecting the effect of draft tube and losses in guide and runner passage determine the speed of wheel in RPM and vein angle at exit. State whether the speed calculated is synchronous, synchronous or not. If not, what speed would you recommend to couple the turbine with an alternator of 50 cycles? So this was the given question. Let us first understand the given data and we will draw the velocity diagram. Now if we observe here, it is given that the head of turbine capital H is equal to 30 meter. Then the inlet diameter D1 is 1.2 meter and outlet diameter D2 is 0 0.6 meter. As when it is mentioned that the turbine is Francis turbine, then we have to consider this is the inward radial flow turbine. So we have to remember that this outer periphery that is the inlet diameter and this inside periphery of the runner is the outlet diameter. Then vein angle at inlet. So vein angle at inlet that is angle theta and it is given that 90 degree. So we can say that when theta is equal to 90 degree we have to draw the velocity at the inlet. So here this is the inlet tip that is on outer periphery. So I will say that this will be the point A. Now at this point A, I have to first draw tangent to this point A. So this is on the circle. So I will draw here one line that is tangent to the circle but passing through this point A. Now to draw the velocity diagram, I have to first take the line parallel to this tangent line. So I will draw here one line parallel to this tangent line. Now it is given that vein angle at inlet is 90 degree. So vein angle at inlet that means here theta is equal to 90 degree and for this condition we have to draw here velocity diagram. So how to draw? So for that I have given one video and it's a link is given in the description box that is how to draw the velocity diagram for different cases. So here at the inlet tip when theta is equal to 90 degree so we have to draw here. So this is the line that is parallel to this tangent line. So we have to show first angle alpha. So this is the angle made by absolute velocity at the inlet tip to this tangent line. So I will show here. So here is the angle alpha and this velocity is known as V1 that is the absolute velocity. Now we have to show angle theta is equal to 90 degree. That means the angle made by relative velocity to this tangent line. So that line will be passing through this point A. So I will draw here one line that is vertical and here angle theta is equal to 90 degree. So we know that velocity of flow is also along the same line. So we can say that here Vr1 is equal to Vf1. So this is the velocity diagram and here uh, this is the line parallel to this tangent. So along this tangential line there is the flow that is u1 and in this case when theta is equal to 90 degree u1 is equal to vw1. 
so if i show here this length then i have to write here as a u1 is equal to vw1 so this is the velocity diagram at the inlet now we will move for the next so guide blade angle alpha is given so this alpha is equal to 15 degree now water that exit leaves without tangential velocity so if we observe here this is the condition given but francis turbine that is also mentioned in the question that's why we are going to say that here vw2 is zero and angle beta is equal to 90 degree so now at the outlet tip so here i will say this is the tip b and i have to draw here velocity diagram so again at this point b i will draw one line tangent to this point b now for this line tangent to at uh, tangent at point b i have to draw one line parallel to this tangential line now i have to show here one angle phi that is the angle made by relative velocity at the outlet with this tangential line and that angle will be known as the angle phi so here this is v r2 that is the relative velocity at the outlet tip now it is given that v w2 is zero and because of francis turbine is having radial discharge so we have to show here angle beta that is angle made by absolute velocity at outlet with this tangential line so here beta is equal to 90 degree and this line shows it is v2 and which is also equal to so along this line flow velocity is also there that is v2 is equal to vf2 so in this way this is the velocity diagram at the outlet tip now it is given that velocity of flow is constant in the runner so velocity of flow is vf1 and here at outlet tip it is vf2 so it is constant in the runner so here is the runner and this one of the blade ab is getting selected so we can say that according to this condition vf1 is equal to vf2 this is the velocity diagram and we are going to refer this velocity diagram for the calculations now first question is speed of turbine in rpm so how to find out the speed of turbine so we know that the tangential velocity that is u1 is equal to pi d1 n by 60 so that n that is the speed of turbine in rpm so for that we have to first find out this u1 so now it is the condition that is given in the question that is there are no losses in the turbine so when there are no losses in the turbine then we have one formula that is h minus v2 square by 2g is equal to 1 by g in the bracket vw1 u1 plus minus vw2 u2 so if we observe because of francis turbine this vw2 is equal to zero because of radial discharge so we have to cancel out this second term so we have only one formula that is v uh, on the right hand side 1 by g vw1 u1 now if we observe the diagram and as well as we will refer the given conditions now here if we observe this v2 is equal to vf2 so instead of v2 i will put here vf2 so h is 30 so 30 minus vf2 square by 2g which is equal to now 1 by g and here vw1 u1 is there so if we observe here this u1 is equal to vw1 so instead of vw1 if i take u1 then 1 by g u1 square so here is the equation number one now uh, there is also one condition that flow remains constant that is vf1 is equal to vf2 so instead of this vf2 square i can also put here vf1 square because it is according to the given condition in the question now if we observe here this triangle or velocity diagram then tan alpha is equal to so tan alpha is equal to what vf1 by u1 now we have to find out this u1 to find out the speed in rpm because u1 is equal to pi d1 n by 60 so we will take here u1 and vf1 is equal to vf2 so we will refer here vf1 so vf1 by u1 so how we can write u1 so u1 is equal to vf1 by tan 15 so 
here alpha is equal to 15 degree is given so u1 is equal to 3.732 vf1 so this is the value of u1 in terms of vf1 now if i put this value of u1 in equation number 1 so why we are putting this because in this equation vf1 and u1 both terms are unknown terms so it is not possible to find the two unknown terms so we will make here the value of u1 in terms of vf1 so what will be our equation that is 30 minus vf1 square by 2g which is equal to 1 by g into 3.732 into vf1 bracket square because this is the whole value of u1 we have to take into bracket so this is the equation in terms of vf1 now it is easy for us to find out this vf1 that is vf1 is equal to 4.44 and from this vf1 we will find out this u1 because u1 is equal to 3.732 vf1 so when we multiply here with 3.732 we will get u1 is equal to 16.57 meter per second now this u1 is equal to pi d1 n by 60 so d1 is known u1 is also known so only one unknown term that is n and n is equal to 263.72 rpm now next question is when angle at the outlet tip that means we have to find out this angle phi so here this value is u2 because here vw2 is 0 now if we observe this triangle here u2 is equal to how we can define this u2 that is pi d2 n by 60 so d2 is known n is also known so when we put the value then we will get this u2 that is 8.285 meter per second now vf2 is equal to vf1 so this vertical side is having value vf2 is equal to v2 but we have calculated the value of vf1 so we can say that vf1 is equal to vf2 is equal to 4.44 meter per second now if we observe this triangle then how to find out this angle phi so tan phi is equal to vf2 divided by u2 so both values are known so if we put here value then we will get 0 0.5359 so phi is equal to tan inverse of this value so phi is equal to 28.187 degree so this answer that that is this is the answer for the second question now we have to find out what is the synchronous speed so how to find out this synchronous speed we will say that n dash and what is our turbine speed that is this is the turbine speed that is also in rpm so if we observe synchronous speed we will consider n dash and f is the frequency of alternator in cycles per second so alternator frequency is given 50 cycles per second and then we will assume that number of pair of poles so this is our assumption that is the number of pair of poles is equal to 12 so we have formula f is equal to p into n dash by 60 so f is 50 cycle per second then p is 12 then n dash that we have to find out divided by 60 so n dash is equal to 250 rpm now we have to compare this speed that is this is the synchronous speed and this is the turbine speed so if we observe the turbine speed is greater than the synchronous speed and turbine should have speed is equal to 250 rpm so we can say that speed of turbine is not synchronous